My name's Adam Bennett, I'm the Chef Director at The Cross at Kenilworth. Uh, the dish I'm going to show you today is a ox cheek pie using Irish ox cheek with some pickled walnut. We're garnishing that with glacé carrots, roasted onion and beef fat mash. The, the Irish ox cheek that we use for the pie, the reason we choose the ox cheek is it's got a fantastic lot of collagen and marbling in there which gives us a really moist finished product. Uh, the preparation involves uh, trimming them, taking the fat off, dicing them and then we salt them overnight just to give them a, a bit of a cure. Okay, for the uh, grilled onion garnish for the pie, we're going to take Roscoff onions because we like the sweetness and they're quite a nice tender texture. Um, we're going to sous vide cook them in a steam oven. Uh, once they're cooked, we're going to caramelise them on the plancher and then simply finish them with a bit of jus to glaze. The glazed carrots for the pie, uh, we cook them quite traditionally. The only slight tweak we make is we add the uh, carrot juice along with the, the traditional water, butter, sugar and salt. Uh, the mash for the pie, uh, basically it's a pretty standard mash but we add the beef fat that we take from our roasted bones. The roasted bones we, we use every week to make our beef shoe and we reserve the fat for other uses and this is one of them. Cooking the ox cheek for the pie filling, basically we sear the ox cheek, fry it, get a nice caramelisation going on. Separately we cook some uh, garlic, mirepoix, get a nice caramelisation on there. We add some uh, beer and wine into that, reduce it down, combine the two things into one pan. We add our beef shoe, uh, then we cook for two and a half hours in the oven. To assemble the dish, we're going to cook the pie at around 180 degrees for 15 minutes. And then as soon as the pie is ready, it's uh, a last minute finish and assembly. So to plate the dish, we go pie at the centre of the plate. Then we put the carrots to one side, the onion to the other, and serve the pom puree separately. When we sauce, we put a little bit over the pie and we send the rest uh, separately. Okay, so there you have your Irish ox cheek and pickled walnut pie with caramelised onions, glazed carrots and a beef fat mash.